guys are a little bit of a lower seed than maybe you were expecting. Is your thoughts on uh, the, the bracket and facing Oklahoma State in the, in the first round? Uh, we're just happy to be in the tournament. We don't we don't care where we're seated. Uh, we're just so excited we get to play and have the opportunity to showcase uh, our skills and our team in the tournament. So uh, we're excited to go to San Jose State, play Oklahoma State, and uh, uh, it's just an exciting time right now. You know much about Oklahoma State? Even seen a game or anything? Uh, I don't. I don't know tomorrow. Yeah, we'll know more tomorrow. Tony, what was your reaction to seeing your Oregon name up there? And what do you think about the seating? Um, like he just said, we, we're really not concerned. We're just happy to be there. Um, we're really lucky to stay on the West Coast also. That's really big for us. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a lot more fans out. So we're excited about that. What do you guys hope? What, what's a successful trip? Is it just being there? Or do you, do you have to win one, two? What, what's success for this for you guys? I mean, we feel like... We, we feel like we can beat anyone in the country. I mean, uh, we have confidence in ourselves. Um, well, we're not going to put a limit of games on the success of the tournament. We're just going to go in each and every game and play our best. And when we do that, um, you know, good things happen for us. And uh, that's, what we, that's what we can hang our, our hat on is how hard we play, um, you know, and just give it an, uh, our all. Um, it's big for us, the momentum swing uh, that we have going now. Um, looking to go down there with the same uh, intensity that we had these last couple of games in the tournament on defense. Uh, that was really big for us. So to just keep that going and uh, hopefully we can be successful. Same defensive intensity that we've been bringing in the Pac-12 tournament. Well, you haven't been part of this some years ago in the NCAA, so would you convey some of that to your teammates, what, what to expect and how different is it than uh, other, other kind of games? Um, yeah, I, I had a chance to be a part of it my freshman year, um, and we, we had a, a, a brief a brief stay. So, looking looking forward to this year and the opportunity to to go further with this team and uh, just try to convey some some of what the experience is to my teammates. Like you said, uh, just the stage and, and how different it is and the atmosphere and it's just electric. EJ. You guys beat UCLA twice this year, won the Pac-12 championship, yet they have a higher seed than you guys. I mean, do you feel any kind of disrespect from that? Or? No, we don't, we don't feel anything. Uh, we, we, know, we know how good we are. Um, that's all that matters. Um, you know, people are going to have different opinions, uh, but we feel so confident in ourselves and in our team that uh, it doesn't matter where we're seated. We feel confident and playing anyone. So we're just happy we're in it and get the opportunity to play. You already joke around about kind of the 5-12 upset. I mean, there's been so many 5-12 upsets over the last several years. Do you guys joke around about that at all, being the 12, and you guys have that chance? I never, I never really thought those were upsets. I mean, every team in the, in, uh, in the tournament are good teams. So um, I've, never, I've never really thought of an upset. I've never believed in that. So... Uh, anyone can beat anyone during this kind of tournament. I mean, you see it every time. So, um, like we said, we're just so excited playing it, and um, you know, we have so much confidence in ourselves right now, coming off a, of, off the tournament champions, and uh, we're just hoping to play with that same intensity and passion. And um, we can't wait to get to San Jose. EJ, four years you've been here, making the tournament now. Personally, what's that like for you? Because obviously that's the goal. That yeah, it's just it's just all the work uh, you know we put in. Uh, just this is we we've, we've earned this, uh, especially for our seniors. Uh, you know, it's the leadership role we put in, and uh, just how much work we put in in the off season in this in this year um, just means so much. And we're just so proud uh, to be a part of the tournament, and um, just hopefully we can get get uh, you know put our name out there and uh, make a name for ourselves in the tournament. When you reflect on your freshman year and how turbulent that was three years ago. Yeah, we definitely had some ups and downs. Um, and, you know, making it this year, 
uh, it's just awesome, an awesome feeling. Uh, just so so proud how much how much uh, you know work we put in, and uh, just so happy. Hey, Jay, Tony, it's finals week. I mean, how much of an impact is it for you, or do you guys, as seniors, not have too tough a thing? Maybe the younger guys have more. Or? Yeah, I, I don't have too tough of a, a exam schedule, but um, I, I'm, I'm sure they'll uh, be a little lenient with us. Uh, you know, traveling and uh, we'll be okay academically. Uh, a lot of the freshmen, as you said, do have a lot of stuff going on, so it can be stressful, but we're trying to focus on the game and uh, maybe get a little leniency and, you know, just uh, eliminate some some of the other uh, distractions. I, won't, I can't just say distractions because <laughs> it's school, you know, so. Well, uh, what's the same? <laughs> I don't really know what word to put on it, but. You know, we're just trying to focus on the game, and uh, we'll be okay. EJ, have you talked to uh, your older brother about playing in the tournament? I know you got to go watch him play for the national championship three years ago, but just what he's told you about it and what you can expect. Uh, we haven't really talked about, uh, you know, what goes on with it. Uh, but uh, he, he texted me after the game and just said how proud he was of me and uh, how happy he was that we could experience uh, something so special. So um, we've, he, ha he hasn't given me, you know, any insight into it. But, um, you know, he, he, all he said was uh, he was he was really proud. EJ, you got the Pac-12 champion hat on. How long were you giving yourself uh, to soak that in and enjoy that before moving on? Uh, actually, me and Tone talked about that after we won. Uh, we definitely said we're going to, you know, enjoy the moment, um, you know, maybe a couple of days, but uh, we, we definitely got to get back uh, to work on Monday and get focused for Oklahoma State. But, um, you know, we're definitely, you know, soaking it in right now. But, uh, you know, we got we to gotta get focused, definitely come Monday, um, get ready for Oklahoma State and, uh, you know, hopefully get a win on uh, Thursday. DJ, going back to your freshman year, follow up on Darren's questioning a little bit. Well, at that point in time, the program was in a lot of turmoil and there, there, there were a lot of questions being raised around the community. What specifically have you seen in that four years that made this program kind of define itself and, and find its way back to the tournament? I mean, definitely Coach Allman has done a great job, uh, but I mean, it's the players. It's Coach Allman getting the right players for, uh, for, the, for his system and just good guys. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, we have a great group of, group of guys right now. We've in 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 the past we had great guys coming in, but uh, I mean this this group right here is really special. We have a great group of seniors, um, and we got great younger guys, great uh, great freshmen, and uh, it's just a great team uh, right now. And especially we're playing so well, and I think we're we're really coming together as a team. So it's really it's really fun and good to see and uh, hopefully we can keep it going and keep the mo going and we're, we'll be a scary team in the tournament. You talk about <clears throat> coming together uh, six weeks ago at this time. Coach Altman made last night was probably your low point in the season. What in particular were you guys able to do to regroup so quickly and get things together and come together like you did for, for such a nice run this week? Um, we just we just didn't dwell on it. Uh, we we move forward. Uh, that's one of the things that Coach Offerman is really good at. Um, you know, when we take a loss, a, a heartbreaking loss. Uh, for you know, for rings, we quick turnaround. He was in a good mood and trying to make sure that everybody was in good spirits. And uh, you know, we just put it behind us and came out uh, with a chip on our shoulder. And we played them in the tournament, of course, and uh, just got a momentum swing from there. Anything else for these guys? Thank you. Thank you.